James Ibarra has been in jail the past three weeks since he was arrested in November for felony domestic battery and resisting arrest. He's pleaded not guilty to these charges, but it's his arrest during August that he says a police officer went too far. I didn't resist up until he hit me. That, that was the whole, that was what set the, the whole reaction. Put your hands there where I can see them. Put your hands behind your back. That's James Ibarra being arrested in Barling this summer. He later pleaded guilty to misdemeanor, domestic battery, and other misdemeanor charges, but a resisting arrest charge was dropped. According to police reports, on that August night, he was drunk and not following the officer's orders. Yeah, I got a drinking problem. It started when my dad died. Uh, I quit for a little while. Here lately, I kind of fell off the wagon. Ibarra says it's what happens next when a police officer went too far. I didn't throw ten things. No! Stand up. Now. I hope you're happy. I'm going to be up. happy in a minute. Stand up. That's from Officer James Breeden's body cam. He's since retired and is no longer on the force. This is a look at it from another officer's camera. Go! According to the police reports, Officer Breeden said Ibarra lunged at him with his head, but Ibarra disagrees. I went to say something and dude just, he smacked me. I was completely compliant up until that point. And then, you know, and then I kind of lost it a little bit. You punched. You didn't get punched. You punched me. I didn't punch you. I slapped you. When Ibarra's in the back of the police car, things intensify. Get in there. Oh, okay. Get in there. Put that leg in there. Put that arm in there. Put oh, that arm. Okay. Get in. What the I got a little rambunctious because I just got smacked. You know, I mean, I was a little mad. The arrest doesn't end there. Get in there. Get it in. Why are you kicking me? Get it in. What the heck in there? I don't really have an excuse, you know. I just, I was, I was mad, <laughs> and I didn't want to be closed in the back of that car. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. You don't have pepper spray. You give me my nuts. You're right. Give me my nuts. Why did you do that? I know. Put your foot in. It kind of. It shocked me. I didn't know. I was like, I've never had a cop do that to me before. You know, I've, I've been tased. I've, I've had everything else, but I've never had a cop use that kind of tactic to subdue somebody. I mean, I, I think it was it was police brutality. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it was way too much. It was over the top. Ibarra says he's hoping to get out of jail after he goes to court in January for his most recent charges. He says this time he's done drinking and he's staying out of barling. In Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.